Hello, this is Mark from IMNJ Organic, and today we're going to be discussing how to make your own fall leaves. It's in the process of planting a cover crop of sorghum sedan grass and pearl millet. We use a total of 55 pounds, and we can get anywhere back from 8 to 10,000 pounds of biomass, or that's the equivalent to bringing 8 to 10,000 pounds in of fall leaves. Uh, it costs a little bit less than $200 because I have to use certified organic seed since I'm a certified organic farm. And if you wish to plant on an acre, it might cost you about 100 bucks. And you can see just a little bit of it growing towards the back. That's the beginning of the field and it goes all the way to our right. We're going to take a walk out there and show you this field. I also want to bring up, I get asked a lot of questions about where I get my fall leaves from. Uh, it is from a clean source. I have to prove that it is from a clean source since I'm certified organic. I get them from the township. I bring in about 2,000 cubic yards each year, and it's strictly from the park area, not from the roadways or people's lawns or anything else, too. In the parks, they don't do any type of treatment of anything. They just basically uh, keep the lawn cut. And in the fall, they pick up the leaves because there's so many from the trees. Uh, they don't want people slipping on them or getting hurt. And then they bring them to my farm. So I know I have a clean source of pure organic fall leaves. Here I have a good example of pearl millet and sorghum sedan grass. It's been knocked over by the wind. And it's feeding all that biomass back to the soil, being knocked down. And we're just taking a drive along it. This can pretty much covers an acre. It's about 400 feet long. A little rough on the truck. And about 50 feet wide. And then it curves around towards the back. So what I'm showing you here is the leftover biomass. This is sorghum sedan grass and pearl millet mixed together. And when the frost comes, it will kill this grass off and knock it down and put all this biomass back in the ground. During this process, all liquid carbon has been absorbed through the process of photosynthesis and also has driven that carbon back into the soil. It might be very hard to understand that this was all green and tall grass. It's almost like ornamental grass as kind of a base that uh, what it might look like when it's green. I have cut this once already this year. I planted it last June and it got to a height of about five to six feet. I recut it and it grew, again grew to another height of about five to six feet. It can get up to 12 feet tall if you just leave it alone. And you can see I'm looking up here. This is uh, tassels left over, the pearl millet. It has like a cattail looking uh, top to it. And this then grass has more of a seed type head that's more uh, like a, almost the top of a corn stalk. I'm gonna bring in a view of a camera of two that I just picked. And you can see the difference. One's the cattail and one is the almost like the seeds on top of a tassel on top of a corn plant. Your pearl millet's on the left hand side and on the right hand side is your tassel from the Sourdain grass. I covered this acre of land again back in June uh, with about $200 worth of seed. Uh, they were certified organic seed, but if you use it yourself, they would probably be about $110, and that concludes the shipping. And you can see here how dense it gets, and it's a great weed suppressor. Again, this is in the corner of my farm, and it's very difficult to reach uh, bringing out the leaves to this area. So I wanted to grow this area and uh, improve the soil. And this sorghum grass and pearl millet is a great way to improve soil because it puts all this liquid carbon back in the ground. And plus it takes all the CO2 out of the atmosphere, which is that liquid carbon that goes back in the ground and purifies the air. I wanted to uh, take this shot before 
we get our blizzard, which is expected tomorrow. We're supposed to get anywhere from one to two feet of snow and 50 mile an hour winds. And what nature will do, we'll push all this biomass material down to the ground and cover it. And then we'll start feeding the earthworms in the springtime. Now, the biggest part or the advantage to all this is that when I planted up 55 pounds of seeds, I'm going to get anywhere from eight to 10,000 pounds of biomass on this acre. And it kind of reminds you of a marshland, but again, it will add also 1% of organic material to here, and this is a great way of improving your soil. And also remember too, is that all this biomass that grew uh, at least 12 feet tall and then was cut down is being added back to the soil, but also you have all those dying roots in the ground. And I didn't want to come here and cut it again because I didn't want to crush the soil, but all those roots that are decaying in the ground has also lifted up that ground and let water in and air and minerals back down into the soil and improving it. And here's a perfect example. This is the pearl millet top. And you can see right here by the bottom, there's a couple of seeds still hanging on to the very bottom here. I'll pull it away so you can see it better. That the birds have not gotten to yet, but they will. But the rest of the stalk, you can see, is cleared off of all those seeds. So it's fed all the wildlife in the last couple of months when there's nothing on the ground for the winter here. As you can see here, it goes up for about another 300 feet of the mixture of pearl mill and Sudan grass. And you can see how much biomass is here. I'm hoping with this winter storm coming, that it's going to knock it all down like they say it should. But either way, it's all drying and decaying. And this will fall down in the spring and it should act like just a mat. So reduce soil erosion all winter long. It's feeding the wildlife, like I said before. And it's just a nice... Uh, example of what you can do with a couple of seeds or 55 pounds of seeds to get anywhere from 8 to 10,000 pounds of biomass. With the Sudan grass and pearl milk being so tall it blocks out the sun and you can see down here where the soil is that there's very little to no weed growth because of that blocking out of the sun. So it does a fantastic job all by itself. And one last thing I'd like to bring up uh, with this Sudan grass and pearl millet is I have a large problem with geese on my farm. They eat all the cover crops, especially the clover this time of the year. Um, there is no food source for them to eat or green material. There might be seeds, some seeds they can pick out, but I will not lose my cover crop if it was all clover. They would just come in and decimate it all within like say a week or two. That's why I like this. This is all dry material and they just leave it alone. They might nest in here and just pick through it, but they can't uh, ruin the, the ground cover part of it because there's such biomass on top that I'm not going to lose any soil. I just want to show you this copy of this book here. And I'm not endorsing it, but this is what I use to understand what cover crops can do or some facts about it. But inside this book here, and I'll turn to that page, as you can see here where that dark line is, uh, we have the sorghum sedan grass right here. And if I'm holding this right, you can see it gets eight to 10,000 pounds of dry matter. Now all the other circles to the right of it is it's a nice and scavenger. Full circle means excellent. Soil builder, excellent. Erosion fighter, excellent. Weed fire, that's three quarters of a circle, that means good or very good and good grazing very good and also quick growth which is excellent again i wish to thank you for watching and please subscribe and give me a thumbs up uh, it's only about 12 degrees out so my voice is a little bit different than normal it's cold today and uh we're expecting that blizzard to come in tonight and we're hopefully 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 we don't get any snow but they're talking uh about a foot and a half to two feet and winds up to 50 to 60 miles an hour i just hope my power stays on thanks it's two days later and we got our two feet of snow and the power stayed on which i'm very happy and we got plenty of snow covering on top of our sorghum sedan grass and pearl millet to start knocking it down and start feeding the soil again in the springtime. 
It's just fantastic how nature works.